Bosch seem to be on a roll with both hardware and software updates on their e-bike systems, and are releasing updates at a pretty fast pace. For 2023, Bosch have a whole host of updates that I'm going to share with you. In this first look video, I'll show you what's coming, including some software updates that you'll be able to make to your Bosch Smart Bike real soon. This bike here is fully loaded with the new smart controller, the mini remote. It's got integrated lights and ABS. So let's check out all the tech on this new 2023 Bosch update. So this bike's from a company called Centurion and Bosch are using it as their demo for all of their latest kit for 2023. So let's take a closer look. You might notice on the front, we've actually got ABS braking. I'll turn it around in a moment so we can have a look and check it out fully. But one of the biggest things that I've noticed on the new 2023 Bosch kit, you can have this new smart controller, which essentially this is the brains of the controller. You might remember the existing Bosch stuff has the big chunky remote with all the kind of smart stuff, all the Bluetooth, all the connectivity built into it. But this is all now changed on this particular bike to be here. And it is much more discreet. It means you can run this mini remote just here, much smaller, much neater. It's Bluetooth, completely Bluetooth, so it's wireless. And there's no cables at all, completely wireless. And it just sits there, feels pretty tactile. And this controls um, everything. Like you can turn the lights on and off for here if you've got them integrated and connected to the main battery. But you can also run the bike without this. So you can have no control and you just use this top tube mounted controller. So we'll just turn it on here and then you could use this button here to cycle through the modes. So for example, turbo and then long press, it will actually change it down through the modes. So it is a much more discreet system. If you've watched any of my videos in the past, you know I'm not a big fan of the big chunkier Bosch remote, but this looks so much neater. There you go, just integrated on the top tubes, not quite flush. It does sit a little bit proud, but you know, hardly anything, it doesn't stick out too much. Maybe one day we'll see this change to an integrated OLED display. I think that'd be pretty smart, but at the moment, it's a much neater offering. No chunky things hanging off the bars. And like I said, you can run it without that. I know you might be wondering if you can run that on your existing Bosch Smart system or your older one, but no, unfortunately not. It does require that new center smart controller because that contains all the Bluetooth, all the gubbins, all the controllers, all the electronics in it. And that requires a new top tube kind of thing, as you saw on this bike. So you can't unfortunately run that Bluetooth uh, controller with one of the big chunky smart controllers. It just, it, it's not gonna work. So yes, a shame, but hopefully we see more of these electric mountain bikes configured like this. I do think that most manufacturers for 2023 will move over to this much neater configuration of the existing Bosch smart system. This particular bike has an LED light integrated. You can control it again via the mini remote. You just hold down the plus button and it will turn the lights on and off. The Centurion bike looks pretty decent actually. Do wish we got these in the UK, we don't get them. I like this purple paint scheme, Fox Factory 38 DHX coil 2929, I bet it absolutely rips. This little orange light here, by the way, means ABS is active. So I'll just turn the bike round and I'll show you the ABS sensors and explain how that works. We've got two ABS sensors, one on the back and one on the front. ABS is only active on the front wheel. So you can pull the front brake with an absolutely massive fistful and it will not skid. It will control that stop. It will give you a super controlled right to the very stop and it will give a tiny, tiny little bit of slip on the e-mountain bike. You can see the little sensor ring on there. There's a uh, magnet that pulses through those sensors. Now what it will do is it will determine the rear wheel and the front wheel speed. As long as they're matching, it's all good. But as soon as it detects that the wheel speeds are different, so the front wheel is rotating at a slower speed than the rear wheel, when you're braking, it will fractionally release the brakes to stop it from skidding. And in my experience, it works very, very well. It's very effective, but it is only on the front wheel. So on the rear, you can completely skid and drift and do whatever you want to do on that rear wheel. It just uses a sensor on the rear wheel to make sure the wheels are moving at the same speed. And as soon as it detects a variance, that's when it knows that ABS needs to be activated. 
The levers are made by Magura. They are adjustable for reach. Got pretty uh, long levers on there. Here's the reach adjuster just in here and the little master cylinder. And for the ABS, here's the kind of control unit just there. Now the entire system only adds 400 grams to the entire bike. That's for the control system itself and the extra kind of wiring and the extra little sensors on the brakes itself. It's not a huge amount of weight that you're adding. 400 grams to a 23, 24 kilo e-bike. It's not a huge amount. Bosch ABS is super interesting and will no doubt polarize a lot of people. I've actually got a full test video on Bosch ABS coming out real soon. So make sure you're subscribed if you want to be the first to see that one. On the software front, Hill Hold is a cool new feature that all Bosch smart owners will be getting real soon. Here's how it works. Oh, I was really trying to clear this here. Um, but one of the things that I've noticed on the new Bosch system is this new feature called Hill Hold. So I'm on quite a steep gradient here. I'm really steep, quite loose. And you know when you can't quite make a climb, you run out of skill, you run out of power, or well, there's just too much stuff in your way. And you've got a heavy 23, 24 kilo e-bike that you need to push up to the top. Well, this new update has this feature called Hill Hold and it works in conjunction with Walk Assist. So if I just press Walk Assist to get the bike back wheel turning and moving up the trail, it's like the Walk Assist we've all used before, but if I let go, it actually holds the bike for 10 seconds, much like an auto car. And the bike is pretty much stationary for 10 seconds until I decide what to do again. So in this instance, I'm gonna do the walk assist, carry on going, let go, he'll hold. Look at that. That is such a neat feature. And even when it's up on the back wheel, I've stopped the walk assist and the hill hold is still active. So it's these kind of really cool features that actually make your bike better over time. And this update should be coming out soon for all Bosch Smart System owners. So when that's available, you'll have this exact feature to help you up these hills. So there you go, some pretty cool stuff from Bosch for 2023. Hope you like this. If you want to see more e-bike content, subscribe, and I will catch you all really soon.